Matt Axman on YouTube here. We're trying a new experiment. This is commentary of a game that was played on Tabletop Simulator with me using an Alexandrian army at the front here against an Achmenid Persian army. You'll see the Achmenid's heavy infantry spearmen race forwards and take a hill. Their armoured spearmen tough to take on. On this side, the Achmenids have got a, a kind of mid-weight, I guess, cavalry command. A lot of elite heavy and medium cavalry shooters supported by a couple of light horse who are going to move up here slightly blocked by the terrain where there's a big field um, in the way facing off against the death star with some um, javelin as well on this side again another similar sort of heavy medium shooty cavalry command with some light horse true then a huge block of um, sparabar and immortals moving up there against the pikemen and spearmen um, in in the alexandrian command so on on the alexandrian command you've got a mixed command on the left you've got um, companions light horse they're going to try and drive off those persian cavalry but they're not quite good enough on their own so they're using the the pikemen and the spearmen to put a bit of extra pressure on them to try and force force them back to get around the flank of those sparabar in the middle, there's a, an elephant in a Thracian and a block of pike. They're just going forwards to try and pin those heavy infantry. And on this side, Death Star is pretty confident, to be honest. It can roam, race forwards. It can use the terrain to protect the javelin and, um, and try and concentrate on those um, cavalry. Just push them back and put a little bit of extra pressure on those spearmen there. So, so the Persians, you know, they think about moving forwards and shooting. They realize they could be overlapped um, with, with that one. So they flip over to this command and decide to just come forward, start engaging in a bit of shooting, start to try and ding some hits onto um, onto the companions, and then the spar bar move up to protect the flank of um, flank of those Greek heavy spearmen who are who are sat very safely on that hill at the moment. Um, but I think the you know the force on the left means that, that they do have to start engaging and stuff. So so actually the spearmen, um, great for me, have been tempted off. They obviously fancy their chances against the pike. They want to try and get stuck into that elephant. They see I don't have anything in the middle there. And um, and here we are. We we've, we've got a little bit of a tabletop simulator challenge here as um, as some of these um, troops try to move forwards and fit themselves onto the the 3D terrain of the hill. Bit of faffing around there, but but eventually they're there ready to line up and do some shooting but that has put them slightly out of the way of their light horse so the light horse have to slide across a bit as well back to my side you know this is a good chance to drive these cavalry away trying to work out how to do that there's all sorts of different ways really but i i want to split them up and i i want to try and get the companions in a good position behind the flank of um of those spar bar and really peel that big big solid so yeah so there's bit of a push forward and there's hopefully a chance to push them out but i'm now looking to see how i can drive back those cavalry and, and try and get behind the spar bar all sorts of different options here but i've really struggled with low pip so so what i think i'm going to end up doing is using the spearmen you know the cavalry can't stand up to them they drive them off the the cavalry start to drift back but they drift back in bits um, i'm breaking them up that's that's not a bad result for me um, but just a few pips short you know i want to push the the cavalry up that's probably too far that that exposes them to the the spar bar attacking them in the flank so they fall back a little bit and do I push up my own light horse here? This is tempting, but I just don't have enough pips. That would leave that big block of pikemen in the middle, you know, left too far away from the spar bar, and they've got to get in. So I, I make that choice. I push the pikemen forward, and here in the middle, you know, now the pikemen are going forward. The elephants have got to go forward as well. I've taken a bit of shooting hits. I need to mess around with the skirmish screen to make sure the elephant can get into the spar bar intact. So the elephant slides past the heavy spearmen. I know the pikemen can move up and just pin them get ready to fight them you know a bit of reorganization there as they they get closer in tabletop simulator and here here i've got the death star the death star this is now a separate part of the game so the death star is just trying to drive these cavalry off i can't really catch them they can't really do a lot about me this is kind of going to be a bit of nip and tuck so the death star goes forwards and then i spin off a soul thracian really you know he's not a great position but he's there just to cause trouble and thin out that big line of heavy spearmen we get a bit of shooting the the Persians shoot well you know they're, they're dropping hit markers all across the line um, against my army here so you know I've taken quite a bit of damage ready to go in but but here that I've done what I wanted to do I forced the spearmen to react they're now taking on the Thracian it's now three against three against my pike block that's all good the rest of them dare not really do anything they don't want to go forwards it would expose them to that that elephant as well so over over on this side the cavalry who've been driven off by the Death Star they start coming back Suddenly, it suddenly looks like my um, my two javelinmen and the one Thracian is a little bit undergunned now. Without the extra Thracian, give me that width of five against the the four cavalry and light horse. But you know that will last for another few turns, and let's see what happens in the middle there with um, with with that spearman. You know that that could go either way. The odds are with the spearman, and on on the other side again. You know the cavalry have been skittered away, but 
that that big block of spar bar it's got an elite commander with it so it's better than that it's got a strategist so the, the cavalry can come forward and there you can see the the problems i had through through not having enough pips to move up those extra block of light horse to support the companions the companions now become a bit of a massive target for shooting and um and suddenly the the spar bar and the immortals are going to open up as well probably putting even more dings onto um onto that line of infantry you're going to barrel into them so you know bit of shooting comes in <coughs> the, the two armies start to to line up and think about it we roll along the line the um yep taking more hits there more markers appearing and then suddenly two of those light infantry are, are shot away in a couple of turns meaning the elephants have to go in along this line the the shooting's a little bit effective still a few bit bit more damage but what's going to go on on this combat here Oh, fantastically the um, the Thracians take another hit but they do survive so they're still in play they've still su occupied that spearman for quite some time so so now my turn I'm again still doing this push on this right hand side use the two companions they're injured but they've got impact they're still dangerous they're going to try and force back get into those medium cavalry try and get behind this um, spiral bar and that forces the enemy light horse to stand so suddenly I've got a good combat there to start driving a big hole here we're in you know the elephant it's not a great position to be in with that um, super injured Thracian, but they can't stand there and be shot. So everybody charges forward, and I've managed to get you know two on two against the, the heavily armoured spearmen. I've engaged their general, they're in. Here, another kind of Death Star scenario. All I want to do is is waste time here. You know, this my command can't really stand up. I think the elephant and the Thracian are probably goners at some point. Throw them forwards, and that will hopefully buy me a bit of time and space to um, to get those two injured javelin men out of the way and start to recover them a bit because they they just lack the the ability to go forward. So another kind of ripple of shooting runs across the um, the front line, and then there's kind of a little bit of a hiatus when um, when I suspect in the game my um, my erstwhile opponent had to um, to take a quick break to go put his young <laughs> young daughters to bed. Um, one of the joys of playing in in mixed time zones um, as well but now suddenly we're back again and um and we're looking at what's going to happen here in in terms of the combat so these combats a six one to start with my my javelin arm cavalry die but then the other light cavalry go and suddenly it's pinging out the thracian doesn't survive in the middle but the elephant does that blasts a hole straight through that's made a big dent and the spearmen this is the real killer the spearmen lose their general and take an extra hit against the pikemen who are, are just kind of solidly better than them that's a bit of a tricky one for that spear formation and the thracian hang on and the death star kind of you know match up still chugs along i, I better check how how many losses my army's taken because it's it's taken quite a few by now and and suddenly we're into um into combat in the middle and it's it's back to the persians turn um the the elephants blasted a hole but suddenly those couple of light of tree that that live with the um live with the greeks they come back and engage the elephant and that's bad um, what else you know the Persians can sit around against that side on the Death Star they're, they're chewing up the Thracians the elephants doing well but it's it's in trouble the spar bar their jobs just to sit and shoot and those cavalry are trying to protect their flank as long as possible but suddenly they've spotted there's a big hole appeared in the middle of my army with those Thracians gone so so spar bar push forward they're they're on the flank of my pikemen um, that's looking tricky all of a sudden that's not quite so good at all the um, the cavalry fall back a little bit um, again making space for to stop my companions getting into a dangerous position straight away and combat kind of ripples along and you know with the upper hand the pikemen start to, to push a bit more as well the Thracian finally he gives up the ghost in the middle but finally you know it's a bit of nip and tuck on the far side the elephant wins the Thracian loses there as well so going back to the middle it's um it's now my turn again again I'm, I'm still pushing this thing of how do i get past you know the pikemen have to go in their flanks exposed they're in a load of trouble but this is the time for the heavy infantrymen to wade into the poor quality in combat um you know spara bara so here i'm just pushing back those cavalry getting ready to to run into the back of those spar bar and skittle them down i've taken a lot of hits i'm getting close to a break point but but these cavalry are starting to be in a position at which they can do something really spectacular and make that that brittle unit of infantry collapse um over in the middle we're still chewing away at the um at the heavy infantry the elephant just you know i need to just get stuff out of the way to buy some time for my um my javelin men to to run away back into the safety of um of that that bit of terrain over there so just push back some of those other guys and suddenly we're we're into combat and, and we're sadly getting to the point at which two hours into the game my um, my microsoft auto record thing ran out at two hours so you've got i've taken a lot of hits my infantry haven't done as well as they should do but but we're now into the brittle side of the persians so it's really getting tricky 
the elephant explodes but there's still a lot of nip and tuck with the pike the pike are pushing and causing damage and with that we kind of ended up running out of video what happened in the game um pretty much more of the same actually with all the two sides locked into combat what what transpired was that the the losses taken by the um by the alexandrian army carried on stacking up and they got really really close to breaking really close to breaking and the persians were still five or six units off but then in a couple of rounds of combats the the alexandrians hung on their heavier better quality troops as the persians started to get injured did suddenly manage to to hang on that last little bit and finally the persians suddenly collapsed you know their their brittle troops exploded and then that was it game over and it was a mutual destruction fantastic game